Hi, welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. Well, we've had a bit of a break. Yeah. Uh, it's, mm. it's been a couple of months since we've done this. Mm, probably more than a couple, yeah. Yeah, I think we stopped filming when we left for Morocco. So, and that's yeah. next episode of series we're going to do. But yeah. we're going to get back into this. It's now, what is it? October of 2024. And yeah. we're going to go back into early October 2022 is when... Uh, this episode would would have been filmed or yeah. late late September yeah. early October. Yeah. This episode has us leaving Florence, headed to Pisa. There's a voice that keeps on calling me down the road. It's where I'll always be. Every stop I make, I make a new friend. Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again. Maybe tomorrow I wanna settle down. Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on. Um, so Pisa is pretty exciting. It's somewhere that most people have heard about with the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So we're going to go check it out ourselves and see what's up with that. Well, the, the Pisa complex is three buildings. Uh, so there's a cathedral, the baptistry, and the tower was started in the late 11th century. Well, 12th century, 11, well, I have yeah, it sorry. here, 1173 it was started. It's... Yeah, it I think it started and stopped in fits and bursts over 200 years because they have, yeah. well, you know, they're always warring and then it was leaning. Each city and... kind of had their own city-state, so they're always fighting with other um, areas, which stopped them when they first started. It stopped for, well, it started leaning pretty quick. It's built on real marshy land. I think within the first five years, they noticed it was leaning. And then like, they got up to the third floor. Then they had to stop because they're fighting with all the... The neighbors. All the neighbors, which was, <laughs> they say it was probably good because then it allowed it time to compact the soil underneath, which probably... Actually. Yeah, I guess if they had kept going, they probably would have just got up and... Yeah. I so mean, why they kept going while it was leaning... Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess they figured they had that much done. Yeah, what they the would heck? just it's, keep going. It's leaning, but hey. But how they compensated for it was just to build the one side taller than the other, so it kind of... Yeah. yeah, so I guess in the end, what do we got here? It's 185 feet on the, on the high side, yeah. and it leaned... By the time 1990 came along, it was leaning at five and a half degrees, so it was over pretty good. Yeah, so it was 185 on the high side, 183 on the low side, so two foot difference between the two sides. Yeah, which so, is pretty substantial. We didn't actually climb this tower because we just spend our time in Florence climbing a lot of stuff. Uh, and Glenn, he's a little scared, so he didn't really want to go in the leaning I'm tower. Putting that in. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, still. I made it on top of that Duomo in Florence. Yeah. So. Didn't think you want to go up a leaning tower. No. It was a little... Uh... <laughs> so in uh, 1993, so between 93 and 2001, they did a restoration attempt where they basically put in these huge anchors, wrapped some cables around it, and then undermined the high side and pulled yeah. it back to basically four degrees. Yeah, they didn't want to pull it back too far because then well, they would lose their tourism. The unleaning tower yeah, of Pisa. Yeah. If they so, but so they had to bring it enough so it wouldn't fall over because then they would lose tourism, and but not far enough to make it. 
boring. Yeah. So anyway, so now they figure it's good for 300 years. So. And they had to vacate anybody that was in the fall zone of the tower. If they lived anywhere there, they had to vacate all those people because they weren't sure what might happen while they were doing this. They mm -hmm. still had the big anchors there. Yeah, yeah. It's probably an Atlas Obscure thing to yeah, find maybe. the anchors. Yeah, but it's, I must say, it was the prettiest bell tower that we saw. It's very, it looks very delicate with its col columns and... Because it's leaning. I know, but it's just, just the look of it I thought was probably the prettiest one that I've seen anyways. There might be prettier, but you can let us know if it, you have a prettier one. We'll check it out one day. It did survive uh, World War II because the Allies mm -hmm. thought that the Germans had occupied it, but uh, apparently... They, they, were, they, they were, got, the Allies got a, some, some military guy got in there and he realized that they didn't and decided it looked too good to blow up, yeah. so they spared it from Thank goodness. being yeah. demolished in the war. That's so. for sure, yeah, that was definitely very fortunate. But it, it was very touristy there, but it was actually quite nice in Pisa. You could probably have spent a night or two there. They have a, a nice town area that we didn't go to. Yeah, we went through it and grabbed some lunch down there. Two years ago, I don't yeah. remember details yeah. like that. Yeah, it, I remember it being quite nice, yeah. So, after Pisa, we headed off to Lucca to, to spend um, the night. It, it was an interesting city. It um, was originally a silk town. They, they made silk and I think there was a lot of people that made a lot of money through silk manufacturing and selling. Yeah, and they, had, they had lots of towers. Well, well, there's only two towers left, but in the day... They had lots of towers. They had lots of towers. It, it was like, I'm going to build my tower taller than your tower kind of thing. A little bit of ego happening, right? And so the counselors had to put in limits to what, how tall the towers could be and what they would look like. I guess they were wanting to do um, city planning. But now there's only, I think, two towers left in town. And the one, one, of, one of the ones is very tall and on the top of it they have these big huge oak trees I think seven of them planted up there so they have like a garden up there which is which is unique I don't think we saw that in any of the other towers that we've seen so and Luke is also interesting because it has city, well, it, city walls all around it the original city walls they've kept intact I think Napoleon actually took over the city then he gave it to his sister and his sister did a lot to preserve it so she actually kept all the walls intact and they made a walkway all the way around it. Yeah, it's like a three mile hike. Yeah. We did the whole, yeah. we did hike around the whole thing. Yeah, we did. And you can rent bikes if you want to go for a little bike ride around it. So it's quite nice that way. One of the best gelato yeah. Places in I don't I don't want to say Italy, but but a very well known gelato stop. So Somebody we, had told us about. We it. checked it out. On our way to La Spezia, which is to see the Cinque de Terre, which will be the next episode, uh, we stopped and did a field trip in the Carrara Marble Quarry. And there was a, actually a James Bond movie was filmed, mm -hmm. uh, 2008 Quantum of Solace, which we've actually made a couple of stops along the way to, uh, for this movie. Yeah. A couple of, a couple of the places we've gone yeah. to that they've been filming. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. It is over 650 quarries there, but I think about half of them are not used anymore. Yeah, and the, the one we went on, we actually asked about the Statue of David, because it's a marble. And he said, not the quarry we were in, but yeah. down a valley, he pointed the direction that that's where it actually came from. There was from. one specific area that the whitest, purest... Um, it doesn't have imperfections in it. Yeah, that's where a lot of the statues came from, but it's pretty much done now, yeah. that this, area. 
this whole region is just it looks like it's covered in snow but mm -hmm. but it's just marble yeah, it's like bright. everything is just marble like yeah. but it was really interesting they take you up we park the uh, Pepe down at the bottom and then they pick you up in a jeep and it's very steep, uh, very windy, right on the side of the mountain. The yeah. poor lady that was in the back of the jeep with us, she was just hiding her head the whole yeah. time. It, it is a little <laughs> bit, um, it's a little bit sketchy, but... Uh, yeah, we're sketched out in a jeep and yet there's, they, they load yeah. these big giant blocks of marble on the back of these trucks. And they, like come, a, and yeah. they come drive, they have to drive the truck. They come flying down, down the, the hill, right? But, I mean, but for their barricades, the barricades on the side of the road so you don't go over the edges, these big blocks of marble all yeah, along the Yeah, well, <laughs> I tell you, we've seen so many spots in Europe that here marble is expensive and you don't waste any of it. There, it's just like gravel in spots. Yeah. Like they just, or they're like, so plentiful. Instead of putting a piece of uh, plywood over a door or something, they just yeah. slap a piece of yeah, marble just over throw it. some more marble up, <laughs> yeah. you know, or patch it with a big slab of marble because it's, yeah. it's yeah. just so plentiful. But it, it was really interesting. He sh showed us how they cut it and you could look down on the quarry yeah, and see big, exactly what they were doing. Big cable saws they yeah. bore in and then fish the cable through and then just yeah. saw it yeah. out that way. So that was a really good stop. It's not a real popular thing, I don't think. And no. and it was really reasonable to for the tour too. So It was nice. I enjoyed really enjoyed it. it because it was, well, something, something, something construction yeah. kind of like and not, you know, yeah. Seen a lot of churches and cathedrals, yeah. and we see what which is fine, but it was kind of neat to see where all the blocks. Yeah, the I really, came I, from I enjoyed it. I, I think it's yeah. you know if you're in the area, it's you should probably stop. Yeah. And, check and it, out. it was beautiful up there; like the mountains were just absolutely. Well, we had a great day for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, so once that was finished and we made it safely back down to the bike, we headed off to La Spezia, which is yeah. kind of a big city um, st at the one end of the Cinque So on the Terre. south end of the Cinque de Terre and you yeah. can catch a train, Yeah. which will, that's the next episode. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, absolutely gorgeous area. So yeah, definitely don't miss the next episode. Yeah. All right. <laughs>